50 years per murder. That's how many years the defense is offering as a plea deal. Needless to say, the victim's families are incensed. It's like he's dictating what he wants and everything in my heart and everything, I want to go to the death penalty. News of the defense team offering up a 50-year deal for confessed and suspected serial killer Raul Mesa is being called a, quote, slap in the face by the families of his victims. Mr. Mesa is motivated to work a deal out on that case uh, and uh, would like to avoid the necessity of dragging all the facts of that out into the open. Austin police say Mesa confessed to killing Gloria Lofton in her Austin home in 2019. He's also charged with capital murder for the death of Jesse Fraga in Pflugerville last year. That was disrespectful to even offer um, for both of them. Um, I'm glad that the, the, the judge had, had passed on that. Mesa was convicted of the 1982 sexual assault and strangulation of eight-year-old Kendra Page outside of an Austin elementary school. They brought him in right and it kept me from not wanting to go up there and just choke on myself. He served just over 10 years of a 30-year sentence before being released on parole in 1993 with credit for time served and good behavior. At the time of Kendra's murder, Mesa was on parole for robbing a store and shooting a man, leaving him with permanent injuries. If my mom's case had been handled correctly, Mr. Fraga would have been here. If Kendra's case had been handled correctly, my mom would have still been here. Let's backtrack. If the store clerk had cases been handled, all these lives would have still been here. Mesa's day in court Thursday follows a public apology from the Austin Police Department after it closed an internal investigation into the mishandling of a DNA report linking Mesa to Lofton's murder. We hear all this information from you guys before we hear it from the people we need to be hearing it from. They need to let them know. They need to apologize to them first. After that apology, Lofton's family says they're working to get a meeting with APD Interim Chief Robin Henderson. Still waiting for that phone call. CBS Austin reached out to the Travis County DA's office about the proposed deal. They say they haven't accepted or declined and are evaluating it and keeping the victim's families at the forefront. Mesa's next hearing is scheduled for June 4th. He will not be there. In Austin, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.